Hello friends, welcome to Machine Tool Design Community again. Today in this video, I am planning to cover the topic press machine, uh, design of press machine, classification of press machine and their application according to our press tool design. See guys, whenever some kind of press tool design uh, comes to you from a customer, so the first thing you need to know is uh, what kind of press the customer is going to use and what is the size of the pr uh, press machine that is you need specification so that uh, the first thing you need to know is the size of the bed of the press so that you will know that what will be the size of my press tool and second thing the shut height so I will be covering these two things uh, in my uh, going ahead so just uh, this we will start with the type of press machine so you can uh, classify the press according to the power first according to power is hand press that is you will have a ram and then you have a screw and uh, screw and nut type and then the uh, operator will move it with the help of hand so whatever force will be there will be equal to the hand pressure so this is the hand this is the very basic press next we will have power press where we will have a mechanical flywheel uh, which will be rotated with the help of motor so this will be uh, this can achieve up to 6000 tons then we will have hydraulic press that is uh, the the power or the ram moving ram will be will be moved up and down with the help of cylinders so so the the power of the press or the tonnage of the press will depends on the size of the cylinders so it can range up to 50,000 tons. Now if we go ahead with the other type of classification that is designed as according to the frame design. So we have two types that is C type press and H type press. So if we go the C type press the construction is kind of C. Okay and then we in, the, in between the space between the C we, we can put our die and this will be the moving die and this will be the fixed portion ok so this type of presses are used where the parts are small that is it can, it can have highest tonnage of 250 tons so where we can have small two wheeler parts so small, uh, small parts which do not require high tonnage then it can be, it is easy to work in the small uh, companies because it can be accessed uh, from all the three sides. So it's very easy and the production is very fast. Then we can have quick die change because the access is very fast and the press die, uh, the press machine construction is small. Then we can have continuous production as I said earlier. The main disadvantage of this type of press is when there are very high, high loads, there is an angular dis deflection. That is, this part can deflect, and then uh, because of that, you can have uh, many, many possibilities of breaking the die or uh, punches. So this this is not used in very high loads. Then we have H type frame, that is, uh, which which has which can be made designed up to sixty thousand tons according to requirement. It has very strong housing. So we have this top plate, uh, bottom plate, and then we have these tie rods. So the tie rods are the load bearing rods which takes actual all the pressure. These are used for the bigger dies, that is you can use for big draw dies, roof dies, uh, all type of chassis dies where heavy things are there, door trim. So these type of dies are used for draw die, bending die, uh, big uh, big kind of um, very big kind of um, progressive dies. So this can be used for where the bolsters are made of big casting and the size is there. So you can make even top plate, bottom plate very big. Then we can have we can in these dies we can also have cushion for eject ejection so that the blank can be ejected easily. So now I will. I will cover after this I will going to cover now shut tight of the press which means very important term in design. So what is shut height? Shut eyes in, in a layman term I will say that maximum size of die a press can accumulate. See guys 
may be like if the shut eye is 250 mm and you have designed a uh, die whose height goes 300 mm so your die get useless your die is not going to accumulate in the press so what use so the, the customer sir will say that the die is of not use to me so basically this is my moving ram and uh, this is my fixed so this moving ram moves up and down now if i fit here die and clamp here top part so this is the minimum height which will accumulate my maximum size of die so this is the shut height that my die size should be always lesser than shut height so guys now with the help of these three parameters that is the shut height the length of the die and the breadth of the die these three parameters are very important while designing your press die so you have to ask for the the size of the uh, platens of the press and the shut height so if you have three parameters so your die size will be perfectly according to the customer press and your die will fit according to the uh, the press of the required press uh, by customer okay guys guys have a great day bye bye